Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be discussing the secret menu on the Hisense 55U7A LED TV. Before we start, a quick disclaimer. Incorrect use of these settings could potentially damage your TV. Okay, so what we're really talking about here is the engineer's menu. That will give you access to TV settings that are not on the normal menu. So to navigate around this menu, you use the same pad on your remote control. Okay, so the first thing on the menu is the white balance. Most of these you can probably change on your standard TV menu. If you press the cog button on your remote control, you should be able to come out the sub menu. Next, you got your channel signal, so you can change your particular signal type for your country. Next is options. An interesting one here is the LNB power. So if you're using the satellite options on the TV and your dish needs to be powered, you can switch on this option. Next is region. If you wanted to use this TV in a different part of the world, you would select this and then below select the country. So you might be able to get services in your country that you wouldn't normally get by selecting these. Next you've got your logo. Now if you select and change this, it will actually change the startup logo when the TV is switched on. And I have actually tried this and it does work, but I like to leave mine as standard on the Hisense logo. Language of course, you can set your language. Okay, so the next interesting one is test pattern. So this is when you want to test your screen for any dead pixels. So it will turn orange, green, blue, white, and then black. And then we get this pattern, which I'm not too sure about. So if you do know what it is, leave a comment below. The next menu item is inlay pattern, which is similar to test pattern, but it does a fading effect. And is probably more accurate in spotting dead pixels. Okay, next we have the software version. So we've got the serial name, we have the extended version, software version, FRC version, etc. Next we have write keys. These are the Amazon keys and YouTube keys and Netflix keys on your remote. So you've got your version, I'm not sure what that is. Your MAC address. This looks like the model number. Your HDCP 2.2 key, your HDCP 1.4 key. And finally at the end you've got your service number. And if we go up and across the menu to design, we've got video curve, where we can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue settings. Next, we've got backlight, where we can adjust the backlight settings. We've got picture mode, which is similar to what you can do on your TV settings. Again, we have the test pattern, which is the same as before. Bypass, overscan ratio, audio volume, and audio mode. Now, all these options I probably would not be touching because you do risk doing some damage to the TV set if you don't know what you're doing. Now the one option I have touched is the fast boot, which I've turned on. This as the name suggests boots your TV up faster. Again, I'm not sure what built-in video is. Okay, so at this point you might be wondering, how do I get into this secret systems engineer menu? Well, first you go into settings, sound, and speakers, and then you go down to balance, and it's at this point you pull out your remote and type in the following code 1969 and then what you'll see is a green m appear in the top left hand corner this signifies you're in the engineer's settings from here you just press the cog button on your remote control as you normally would to get into the settings okay guys if you found this video helpful give us a like and give us a subscribe as there's lots more great content on the way